Are you scared about sleep training? You've heard people say it's amazing and you've heard people say that it's awful. That's left you completely confused as to whether or not it's the right or wrong thing to do. Well, the problem is what you're looking at are opinions and not science. You and your situation is unique to you, so it can only be something that you decide. And in this episode, I'm gonna clear up that confusion with you and take you through some questions to determine whether or not sleep training is for you. Before we delve in though, do me a favor and like this episode, subscribe, whether you're on the YouTube channel or on the podcast, and make sure that you then don't miss another episode. So by doing this, it also helps us to reach so many more exhausted families. So help us out and subscribe right now. Okay, so that said, let's delve in. Is sleep training right for you? Well, let me ask you this. Is your little one sleeping as well as you'd like them to be? Are you happy with your little one's sleep? Because if you are, then you're probably not somebody who'd be listening to this in the first place. <laughs> but then you don't need to sleep train because if it's all going well, then you're very lucky and that's amazing. And you probably don't need to do anything. But if you're not happy with how your little one's sleeping, if you know that they could be sleeping a lot better, if you're concerned about the effects of not getting great sleep and the impact that that will have on you and on your child, then the next question I'm gonna ask you is, are you in that case prepared to chance it? And are you prepared to just risk it and see how bad the damage may be? Are you prepared to risk problems that can crop up later in life because your little one didn't get healthy sleep when they were little? Oh yes, that's science. And actually not getting enough sleep as a child can lead to lots of problems, health-related problems, later on in life. So by not helping your little one to sleep the very best that they can, could be setting them up for problems in the future. And then the last thing to ask yourself really is, are you the kind of person who will just accept whatever life throws at them? Are you the kind of person who likes to take control of your life and your future and who likes to decide what that's going to look like rather than just accept whatever comes your way. By asking these questions, you're going to probably determine whether you are more passive or proactive. And sleep training your little one is something that a proactive parent would do, not a passive parent. For example, let me tell you about little Charlotte. She was three and a half years old when her dad reached out to me and she was ruling the roost <laughs> to the point that she was throwing a big bedtime tantrum every night. She was completely taking the room apart because she didn't know how to sleep properly. And it was exhausting every single day. The parents had absolutely no evening. Their older daughter didn't get much time or attention from them. It was just all about little Charlotte. And it was exhausting. When we had a chat about a possible plan and how we could best support them, the family weren't sure what to do and they were worried. They wanted to do some work on the garden and they were gonna be purchasing a hot tub. And actually, they came back to me after one more bad night and they decided that, do you know what? The hot tub can wait. This is way more important. And within a matter of days, we completely turned Charlotte's sleep around so that she was going to bed happily. She was settling peacefully and she was sleeping all the way through the night. It was life-changing for them. And the parents were talking to me about how they actually have an evening together now. They're closer because they can spend time together. They get to spend time with their other daughter as well because their youngest isn't dominating all their time and attention with all this negative energy. So it had turned around completely. And another dad who reached out to me was because they were on the brink of divorce. And he said that if they didn't get things sorted out, then he knew the next step was divorce, which was way more expensive than a sleep training program. And again, absolutely life-changing once people know they need it. But I don't want you to wait until things are that bad. It doesn't need to get that bad. And in fact, if you take action sooner, it's a lot easier to fix. So is sleep training for you? Well, again, let's just recap. What do you need to ask yourself? Are you happy with your little one's sleep? Because if you're not, then sleep training is likely the best possible answer for you. Are you prepared to take a chance and just see what impact the damage does have on you and your child and on your health and on your future? Are you prepared to take that chance or do you want to make sure that you're setting your little one up for the healthiest, brightest, most successful future possible? And 
Are you proactive or are you passive? Are you gonna take whatever comes at you or are you gonna take control? Those are the only questions you need to ask yourself. And to get you started, I wanna help you out right now at absolutely no cost. And if you're proactive, this is a little test for you. I will have shared a link somewhere close by where you can access completely free our Sweet Dreams Sleep Series. It's a three part video series and it's gonna help you right now at no cost. Because if you can't even commit and take a free training to help you and your family, then you're not going to be committed to a sleep training program. So take the free one first, show that you're committed, show yourself that you're committed. And I'm gifting that to you right now. So click the link, get yourself in there and I'll see you inside.